Welcome, welcome back to another video from IT Performance. Today we will be setting up the little Synology NAS to uh, get users and possibly groups from an Active Directory connection. So let me just log in to the disk station to go to the control panel okay so domain slash LDAP join domain Okay, checking items. Check to see if the MTU is configured correctly. Crikey. Look, I've got lots of ticks. Connected. Awesome. Okay. So an LDAP, this session cannot bind to an LDAP server. Okay, fair enough. Domain users. So, guest is okay. Administrator normal. Test user, temp user. Me, a Minecraft user. And in the domain groups, we have quite a few groups. And these users, these users is a quick little group that I made up, including a uh, Minecraft user and the Dave DeProves user. It's a cool sign. On. Don't have SSO, so that's fine. Okay, so now that the users are there. We can go to the file station and create shield. Ooh, I shield. Location behind the shield. Night. Yes. Next. Encrypt at night. Flight. Okay, admin guest. Local users, domain users. Okay, the administrator ha apparently has read write permissions, but no one else has any per sort of permissions. Okay, so I'm going to go to the groups, domain group, find uh, these users. Enterprise, okay, these users are going to have read write. So even though I haven't specified specific users, I'm going to give the group read write. Click OK. Let me create a new one. No, no, no. Personal. I can't go again. Uh, okay, don't want to encrypt. Fly. Okay, so domain users. Dave, I want Dave to have full read rights. That's no one else. Well, administrator automatically has read rights. And then I'll create another one. Minecraft. Okay, so domain users. Minecraft. Regret. Okay. 
Okay, so we have three shares, um, one with, uh, shared with a group, and two with individual users, and they're different users. And they're all domain users, they're not local users. So I will now join this computer to the domain, because I haven't done that yet. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how to join a Windows 10 machine to a domain, this, this is how you do it. Right click on PC, go to properties, click change settings, click change, change it to, change it to domain, type in the correct Domain name. Okay, so you need to set up networking properly. Right, so that's the problem. The DNS server is wrong. I need to need to be able to talk to the um, Active Directory server and have that as its DNS. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. Close. I shall restart the machine and I will. Uh, log on with my user and I shall continue this shortly okay welcome back I have now logged on as my domain user my computer is now part of the domain uh, and so let's see what we can see on the Synology so if I go to file explorer and disk station. I should see three shares. One, two, three. Uh, the shared one, I should be able to get uh, map that as a drive. Map that as a drive. Let's call it S for shared. There we go. My personal one, map network drive, let's call that P for personal. Finish that. And uh, when I was setting up, I did set up a recycle bin for each of these. And now the Minecraft one. Now, I should not have access to that. Remember, the shared one was given group permissions. The person, my personal one was giving, given user permissions and the Minecraft one was also given user permissions but not to me, not to my user. And map network drive, let's call it M for Minecraft and finish. Attempting access denied. So there you go. So that's one way of setting up shares uh, on a disk station for people in a domain. So you can still use the, the groups and the users on the domain to give access to shares. And you should even be able to set up automate, um, connections in either in the group policy or through logon scripts to automatically map the shares to the users so that they don't need to go in and manually map them themselves. There you go. Oh, let's, because I... Okay, so let's go out of there, save that. 
Okay, so there's a document that I have made. It's only a little one on my personal drive. Let's copy that. Go to the shared drive. Paste that in there. I have permissions. Okay, so as a test, let's just connect up to the disk station. So let's give another user, i.e. me, access to the Minecraft share on the file station, on the disk station. So go to file station. Shows, uh, so clicking on me, remember I'm logged on as administrator on the disk station, so I have full access. You can see the files in, in these two shares. Now, if we go to Minecraft, right-click on Minecraft and go to Properties. Click on the Permission tab. Now, we want to create a new permission. Permission Editor. So, let's have a look. So, here are all the users, both all the users and groups. Well, not all. Yeah. There's that group there, um, and the users from from the server. So I'm going to tick on that user, um, and here from none type allow. Now we're going to go allow read access, but not write access. So that means I should be a no administration access. Click OK and see up here it says read only under permission. There aren't any subfolders and files at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that and click OK. So now I should be able to map that drive. So let's go back to disk station, right click on that. Go map network drive, choose M, and click finish. And there we have it. I can now connect to that drive. Can I create a file folder in there? I should file in there. I should not be able to. <coughs> Does not let me. So back in here, can I copy this? I can copy it. So if I copy that file and then paste it into the Minecraft folder, it now has that document. And look, now has that document. So I should be able to open that. This is the test. That's the same file as before. And I can type and blah de blah But I cannot save it back to where it was. No, it does not let me. But I can save it back on one of the other drives. And there we have the two folders. And if we go back to the disk station under shared, we have the two files, including the temporary file that's created. So there you go. That's permissions. Setting up access to a NAS, in this case a Synology, even just a little budget Synology, and you have full access via SMB file sharing domain for users and groups, and then there's the iSCSI connection. So if you like the, this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, cheers. Bye. I will probably cut this part, because it is taking so goddamn long.
and I don't want it. I don't want it in my video.